Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the TP-Link 300 megabits per second wireless N PCI adapter. Now this is a full length PCI adapter, not a PCI Express adapter. This is Windows 8 compatible and it is a Wi-Fi certified card. Now it is a 300 megabits one and it has a three antenna construction. Now I brought this as an upgrade to my um, Linux box that I built in a previous video. So if you'd like to check that out I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and check out that build of that computer. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to unbox this and we're going to have a look and then we're going to install it into my um, Linux box. Okay, so let's jump in. So there's a little bit of information on the back of the box um, about the card and it connects to wireless routers via the wireless N standard. So we're going to break the seal and we're going to get into the box. So we just take the plastic off. We lose the plastic. There's a QR code on the side so you can scan it and get some more information about this particular product. So I'm just going to get into the box. So that's the outer box done. And then you get this white inside packaging here. And inside the box you get a driver disc as the resources on it. Now these are a bit strange these discs, these are like half size CDs so if you've got a slot loading CD player it will not take one of these um, so you'll have to download the drivers online but I'm sure you can do that um, if you go onto the TP-Link website I'm sure you can do that. You get a quick installation guide to get you up and running on how to install this and how to use the drivers to get it to install. So there we go. We've got some additional um, warranty information. Yeah, there we go, some warranty information. Then going down into the box, you've got the three antennas, which are here. Let's just take these out of the little bag. So there's the three antennas. They're quite nice, sturdy, and they do they bend as well, so you can have them at multiple angles. And all these do is they just screw on to the antenna the antenna screws on the back of the card. So those are those. You've got a, oh this is good to include, if you've got a desktop PC that is one of the type of office ones that lies flat on the desk, um, you, you need a half height bracket at the back to fit it and they include one of these in the box which is really good. So you swap over the bracket on the back of the card for this and then it will fit in a half height PCI slot at the back. So that's very, very nice to include that. And then we come down the box and we're into the card itself. There's the card. And again, there's the antennas on the back of the card. Observe precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive devices. So again, try and touch something metal um, and uh, wear an anti-static strap or again, touch the case of your computer to discharge any static that you may have on yourself. So again, now we're into an empty box, so that can go over there. Now we just open the bag, and very, very gingerly, we're gonna just pop out the card. So this is the card, this is the TP-Link 
300 megabits per second PCI card and as you can see it's a full height slot card and it's the TL-WN951N so it's a TL-WN951N is the model number okay and around the back again you've got this long um, bracket and you can replace that with the smaller bracket I've just shown you and around the other side you've got nothing you've got some um, serial number information so there we go that is the TP link 300 megabits per second PCI card um, as you can see this is my Linux box I built in a previous video if you'd like to see that um, I'll leave a link in the description below you can check that out um, it's been running really well, really, really well. It's running um, Linux Ubuntu on it um, at the moment, and I've been experimenting with it, and it's very, very, very good. Um, for a budget, cheap, mini ITX build, fantastic. Now, the motherboard inside this case only has a single PCI slot. It's not a PCI Express slot. It's just a PCI slot. So, again, this should fit into there quite nicely. Because this motherboard has a single PCI slot, um, we can fit this straight into there and hopefully it will pick up some drivers off Ubuntu. Also, what I've got, I've got 4 gigs of RAM currently running in there, but I have another 4 gig stick of RAM here that I'm going to pop in. This is a 1333 MHz stick of Integral RAM that I've got off of Amazon. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description below. So if you'd like them, you can check them out. Okay, so we're going to pop another 4 gigs. So we've got 8 gigs running in this system. Because um, later on, I would like to probably dual boot into Windows in here. Maybe fit another hard drive. Um, who knows? But I'd like to do that. So, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. So first of all, I'm going to jump into the case. So I'll be back in a second. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to flip her around like so and we're going to open up the back and it's just three thumb screws which is dead easy so you just unscrew the thumb screws like so like that and then we're just gonna pop off the case as you, as you can see it's dead easy to come off and inside along here you can see let's get into view there's the uh, single PCI slot there so what we're going to do is we're just going to fit the additional RAM which will go into that slot in the middle there so that's going to be a bit tricky so we're going to attempt that now and then we're going to fit the PCI card. Okay, so what we're going to do is just going to un unbox this. Take it out of the packet. It just comes out like that. And you just pop it out on the side. It's got a little bit of a... tab that's been removed now it only goes in one way and it goes in this way because you see on the bottom of RAM it has that notch out of the bottom of the RAM and on the motherboard again it's got a notch out on the motherboard so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop down the two tabs at either side and we're just going to the wires as much out of the way as possible and we're just going to slide this underneath the wires very very tricky because obviously we've got wires in the way I don't want to disconnect the wires if I can possibly help it so again right, as best we can get it into the slot that's it 
Okay, now, what you need to do is apply positive pressure until the side clicks like that. And again, we're going to do positive pressure on this side until it clicks into place like that. So that is now that second stick of RAM installed. So there you go, it's now got two four sticks of RAM, four gigabyte sticks of RAM inside the case there. So that wasn't too difficult. The next thing we need to do is we're going to install a PCI card into this space here. Now this is going to be tricky because we've got this wire here which we need to just prop out the way for a second. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wire tie that up so it's out out of the way as best we can get it. So we'd like to wire tie it up like that if we can. But again we're trying to keep everything clear of the fan and trying to keep as much airflow as we possibly can. It's not easy in this case but we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay so I will get a cable tie and I will come back Okay, so you can see now I've just wired tied that up. I've also removed the back plate so we can fit this card in. Um, so what we're going to do now is just pop the card in um, and see how far we get. So here's the card. I'll touch it really gingerly, making sure we don't touch any of the circuits as best we can. And we're just going to pop it through the slot here. And we're just going to lower it down into the PCI slot like that. So it should just sit like that into the slot. And on the back here, it's got a little hole for a screw. Now we've got a screw, and we're gonna pop that into the hole just at the top there, just to hold it in place so it doesn't wobble around. I just need to get that lined up like so. I'm just going to ease that down into there. That just holds it nicely in place. And there you go. There it is installed into the slot. And what we do now, as you can see, there it is into the slot. Nicely positioned. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just install the antennas. Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll pop the back of the case on and then we'll install the antennas. So we'll just pop the case back on. And the case just slides on the rails down the side until it just clips into place like so. So, and then what we're going to do is just pop the thumb screws back on. It's one side. the other side okay so there there we go so that's it screwed back together now we're going to put the antennas on which of these it doesn't matter which one goes on which socket and they just screw on like so and that's the third one and again we can maneuver these into any position we want so if we want to just do a configuration like something like that so what we'll do now is we will fire it up and we will see if it picks it up back in a mo 
OK, so now we've got the computer plugged in. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to fire her up and see if that card is recognised. Okay, so I'm just going to log in. So we've just booted into the desktop and I'm going to see if it picks up the wireless card. and it looks like it's trying to find something it says it's connected to my network so let's test that theory Let's do let's do a search. And lo and behold, wow. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is fitting a TP link card. Um, no driver disc, no nothing, and Ubuntu has picked it up, no problem. So there we go. That is how to install a PCI card into um, a very basic um, Linux box running a gigabyte all-in-one mini ITX card with a processor um, and how to install the TP-Link into the PCI slot so that's how you do it and there we go so this is Ubuntu 1310 um, if you'd like to purchase that card that I installed or the RAM that I installed, um, please check out the links below, uh, that would be much appreciated. Also if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button. Also please hit the subscribe button and tick the boxes to be informed of when I post my next videos. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, thank you, bye bye.